the sexual the revolution, revolution, revolution is being is podcasted. podcasted. You know, Caroline, you know me. I'm a good dude, like in general. Hilarious I, man. And I'm a good, generally a good dude. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't let anybody walk all over me. That doesn't happen. No, uh, they have don't to get th- up into a seven yeah. foot. Um, Jeep before they walk all over you. Not only do you not let them walk, they have to be assisted all... into the car. Right, you're a big guy, but not only do you not let them walk all over, you don't let them put their shoes on. No, no, to no, even no, attempt no. to walk no, all over. No, you don't even get foot to do that. Here's what's funny. No, that's is, good. That's a good boundary. That's I, good. I think it. I think it's important, and I don't think that a woman ever respects a guy who allows himself to be walked all over. I don't think that. I don't. I don't, I don't think a woman. I wants... think it grows on a woman the older she is. It's kind of an appealing quality eventually. <laughs> Agree entirely. The occasional walking over is like, good. I had exercise. He did what I said. We're done. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you? D- wouldn't you re- rather a? No, guy? of course you want anybody. That's just human nature. Unfortunately, you want somebody to push back, right? Right. Right. I mean, I think you want a guy. I, I've never met a woman that doesn't want a strong guy who has something to contribute. You know what I mean? I think, I think that becomes a problem. I think guys have become so weak. In terms of their just their personalities, and I, and I think, like I consider myself a feminist in that I've said this over and over. When it when you when you're talking about equal pay, maternity leave, just things that I don't think that you sh- there's no real argument right. about. Right. No. Um. Uh. But to the same token, I think that there's these gender specific things that have that have developed through time through evolution. I mean, as as human beings, we've existed. Over two hundred thousand years, and the way we, the way that we mate, the way that we pick mates, I believe is built into the gen, in, built into the genes, into the DNA. Now, I think we still have this this social construct that exists that we've created, maybe um, in the last ten thousand years. But compared to the two hundred thousand years that we've been, women have been picking the per, the proper mates so that we don't go extinct. I think to take those things. And to act as if those things don't have any place in the way that we feel is just a little absurd. You can't ignore evolution. Exactly. We're mammals, but you know what? For some reason, when we're born and once we start dating, we forget. Don't we? Yeah, so we're not so shocked by how Well, we think you're you're not going to be a woman. So, you know, we want you to do all the fun things that we do with our girlfriends. Right. But then we don't don't want to do that. But there has been an over pussification of men because I've seen women. I've seen men in the grocery store almost crying really? when they've called their wives and said, I'm sorry, what kind of cereal did you say that you wanted? <laughs> I know I got the rug. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, you Is it a honey nut? Or yeah, you yeah. don't want that. Um, Not honey nuts because you don't have any nuts anymore. It's just honey. <laughs> what's, what's funny is that that... That understanding is the essence of the whole show in, in general. That okay. that we need to take acknowledge that, but there's also a certain level of credibility that I think that men have lost because of the fact that sometimes they're just trying to be they're Sex, trying to piggy dog lying cheats. Well, they always well not just that, but I think it's it's also a situation where they don't want to be. Uh, they want peace, and they'll do anything to maintain the peace instead of establishing who they are. And the woman. It's the reason why the woman have found you attractive in the first place is, is who you presented yourself to be. And then because they want, when they're met with opposition, they succumb to this opposition and they change themselves to what they think that this woman wants them to be. And then she finds them less attractive because that's not who she fell in love with in the first place. No. And, and that's what I'm trying to teach is, guys, to be these credible dudes who can, right. who you can, who a woman can go, I, I don't have to. I don't have to be a dude. I, like, I don't have to be the dude in this relationship. And I don't think that... Um, and what's funny is even when I've had... We've had uh, transgender people. We've had gay men. We've had um, gay women. And you still find that these these gender-specific roles exist even in that. There's the masculine end of it and the, and the, the feminine. They, where they still take those roles up. <laughs>